Welcome to Hochoka Podcast. What is a wraparound environment and why does it matter? Hello, Mitaki Yepi, and welcome to Hochoka here at the center of St. Joseph's Indian Schools campus. I'm Scott Wooster, today's Hochoka host. We're glad you've joined our circle for a conversation with the Executive Director of Child Services, Jennifer Renner Meyer. Jen is here to discuss our circle of care, our approach to student care at St. Joseph's Indian School. Welcome, Jen. Thank you, great to be here. Good to have you in Hochoka today. Mm. So what I'm looking for from you just as we get started, I've known you for a long time, 20 years plus, I'm assuming, yeah, maybe 25. Prior St. Joe's maybe probably. 30, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, but our viewers might not know you as well. Can you just give them a thumbnail sketch of who you are, how you got to be at St. Joe's and what you do here? Sure. So. I started at St. Joe's about 18 years ago as a family service counselor. I think you interviewed me. Yeah, I, I, I do. Know if you remember That's that right. or I not. Do. So, I do. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, you know, did that for several years, worked with the older girls, and uh, then moved into some residential roles as residential coordinator and then residential director, and currently executive director of child services. So it's been great to be able to move through those um positions and see the organization from a different perspective mm-hmm. each of those times you know the your your viewpoint just really broadens out and absolutely so, yeah happy to be here yeah and you were a big part of the counseling services department for a long time which i worked yeah. in and even headed that up for a while mm-hmm. and were my yeah, boss thank at you one point. you're right yeah, so yeah. yes at one point residential director also uh saw yeah. over child ser- or counseling, counseling services, services yeah. yeah thank you so we're, we're going to talk about something uh, specific today, and we're, we're going to talk about, uh, just to give a little overview of, of where we're headed with things, we're going to talk about a wraparound environment, and that's pretty familiar to a lot of people that work here. Mm-hmm. Um, our viewers might not, not know exactly what wraparound means. Can you just give us an idea of what wraparound is? Yeah, so at St. Joe's, I liken wraparound services to that portion of our mission that states we educate for life, mind, heart, body, and spirit, Okay. right? So yep. it's the whole person and meeting those needs in an individualized way at various points in a student's life. Yep. So that's how I would sum that up. Okay, perfect. And, and wraparound services would be so that encompasses all of the programs that we have at St. Joe's. Okay. So our uh, you know, residential education, counseling services, health services, spirituality, culture, those all make up the services that we provide to students. Okay. Sounds like there might have been six of them, roughly, but, let's say. Yes, sure. <laughs> yeah. So which leads, leads me into uh, the circle of care, which is, mm-hmm. which is our approach here that we that we um that informs our wraparound services if that makes sense so i i believe we're going to show images of the uh, circle of care as a graphic on on as we're talking that'll pop up for the viewers so they'll be able to actually see our circle of care which is nice um how is that image that they see not just a picture what what is um what does it represent and how was it created? Yeah, so I mean, the circle of care is just a visual representation of the work that we do so well at St. Joe's. Mm -hmm. And it was created out of our strategic plan called Decade of Inclusion, where we were asked to capture the services we provide for students and we decided to do that in a visual way. Okay. So child services team worked with the communications department, had lots of discussions, lots of brainstorming, mm-hmm. lots of variations, and uh, took some time to really try to lay that out. And, you know, I think about when I first came to St. Joe's, and we, we, have, we have such a wonderful program here, but it's so diverse and it's right. so encompassing yes. that it can be difficult to wrap your mind around it and really see that big picture mm-hmm. at first. And so what I love about the circle of care is now when I sit down with somebody who might be applying for a position here, wants to know more about St. Joe's, it just sums up what we do. Right. You look at that and you go, oh, yeah, that's what St. Joe's does. Right. And so I think it's been a great addition to, yeah. 
to the work that we do. Yeah, very cool. And it's nice, and I work with families in the Family Service Counseling Department. It's nice to be able to show families mm -hmm. that we do have all these wraparound services. It's not just about a place for your kid to stay and, yeah. and, and to go to school, but there's a lot more that St. Joe's can offer, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so another piece of that, and I think it's reflected in if our viewers see the circle of care, they'll see almost an indigenous representation in the way that's made up. You have the circle, you have the colors of the medicine wheel, mm -hmm. um, the directions and that type of thing. So it's it's informed, the, the art of the circle of care is certainly informed um, indigenously, That's I'm going to use that um, mm -hmm. in that way, but uh, so is the thought that goes into it. It's informed by indigenous practices, cultural traditions, that type of thing. Absolutely. Can, can you talk more about that? Sure. So, you know, let's start with the worldview. So there's two main worldviews, right? Okay. So yep. one would be kind of that linear worldview. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where time is linear. Uh, there is a problem and here is your solution. It's very yep. directive. Yep. And uh, on the other hand, the relational worldview, which is where most Native American folks live mm -hmm. and where we wanted our circle of care to be based in is uh, more of an imaginative, intuitive approach where, where um, you know, life and, and time is more of a cycle. Yeah. And it, so it's, it's depicted in that circular format. And when we take a look at um, the whole person, it comes down to balance and imbalance. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you if you look at that whole person, what's needed to make that person balanced? And it might be one thing, it might be a number of things in conjunction. And what we know is that changes over time, mm -hmm. right? So what I need today versus tomorrow versus yesterday is different. Mm -hmm. And so the great thing about St. Joe's is we can be responsive to that yeah, and work with that student and their family to meet those needs. Yeah, and it's different for, for every kid. Absolutely. Different for every family. Right. And I liked something you said. You said it's a, an imaginative, intuitive mm -hmm. approach mm -hmm. to the way you, you work with kids. Yeah. Dynamite. Yeah. That's good stuff. Good. So with the circle of care, uh, the work that we've done on that, or that you've done on that, that the school has done on that mm -hmm. is not linear um, and, and isn't just something that's all of a sudden complete. Right, we've got a good, a good format, but it's always evolving. I assume. Absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. tell us, tell us about your plans for the future with yeah. that. Yeah. So next steps are to work on a a student measurement process where students can be a direct part of that. So, mm -hmm. do some self evaluation. We always want to work with families too because they know their students best, mm -hmm. and our students here have a big care team. And so, if we take a look at that with the data that we have in the homes, the school, and all those programs. You know, how can we filter that through the circle of courage model of generosity, belonging, mm -hmm. independence, mastery, and then maybe take a look at how we can interpret the gains that students have made. And so, you know, again, as we talked about, those areas ebb and shift mm -hmm. and flow over time. And so, you know, a student's focus this semester might be different than the next. Mm -hmm. And so how can we give them a way of looking back on that and seeing the growth and the gains that they've had. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, there there are six areas, as I said before, there are mm -hmm. six areas of the circle of care and you you named them earlier in the the the, uh, the vlog, I guess, that we do it. <laughs> but um, can you can you just explain to to the viewers the center of that mm -hmm. and then each give a little attention to each of the six that we have? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So the student is depicted as the medicine wheel in the center of the okay. image. And so, you know, students are met there as an individual person with individualized needs that change over time. And then all of those programs, you know, there's there's a basis to each of those programs. So residentially, mm -hmm. students live in homes mm -hmm. with two house parents, right? They learn life skills. Uh, you know, our counseling services department is great because we have 10 master's level counselors, mm -hmm. which is unheard of. We're spoiled, I mean, yeah. We are yeah. very spoiled, and we're very lucky to have that. And I think what that does, too, is, you know, it destigmatizes that thought of mental health. Mm -hmm. It just yeah. makes... Um, 
you know, personal growth, self-care, a norm mm -hmm. for our students. And that's throughout our organization as well. And then our, our health and wellness services, you know, they provide for basic needs as well as some complex medical needs mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. and take care of that. And, you know, our education program, so there's about 12 students to a classroom. And, you know, though that small group allows for a lot of individualizing as needed. So there might be one-on-one -on -one work or small group work within that. And, uh, and then, of course, you know, our foundation is our culture and spirituality. Mm -hmm. So working with students to, to teach language and to take part in that and, you know, be aware and respectful and have opportunities for those traditions and dance. And students have the choice, um, you know, like I said, there's that basis, but students have a choice of what they want to take mm -hmm. part in. Yeah. And families certainly have a say in that as well. And then spirituality, you know, being founded by the priest of the Sacred Heart, of course, that it just runs through everything we do. So that Catholic tradition and Catholic faith married with the Native American spirituality mm -hmm. just puts us in a wonderful place. It really does. Mm -hmm. And as you're as you're mentioning all six of of those, they they weren't things that were invented by the circle of care. We've always had uh, strong foundational programs mm -hmm. here at St. Joe's for those things. But I think it it's it's neat. It, it, as you're talking about it, I, I kind of get excited about it. And I, uh, looking at the circle of care, it's the same thing. For me, it encompasses what we do here. And it just excites me because there are so many good things. And mm -hmm. it's easy to look at what maybe isn't going right sure. all the time. Yeah. And, and to, to look and, and see just exactly what we do. Uh, for that for that center mm -hmm. of that circle of care is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty neat thing. Um, anything else you'd like to say about the the six uh, segments of the six circle elements. of care? Or, yeah, or, yeah. Or the I mean, it was I think, drawn up for yeah, that kind of like we talked about earlier. You know, those aren't all a hundred percent at all times for all students. Yep. So there's that basis. And then depending on that student's individualized needs, one element might take uh, precedence mm -hmm. for a period of time. So even if we look at uh, those basic things like um, dental care. So if we have a student that comes and, and needs a lot of dental care, you know, their nutrition isn't going to be the best. So mm -hmm. if we can take care of that for them, that improves their nutrition. It's also possible that they weren't able to fully focus academically, mm -hmm. right? And so sometimes we have to prioritize certain areas right. in order to meet the needs of those students. Yeah. So it sounds to me that like the circle of care is very individualized for mm -hmm. each student, that they each get met exactly where they need to be met, mm -hmm. or, or that's what we try to do Absolutely. for sure. And that, that really does put them right at the center of the circle of care. Yes. And it also puts them at the center of our worlds here at St. Joe's and puts them where they need to be for us. And that's a good representation of that. Yes, perfect. So thank you very much for, number one, for being on Ho-Choka mm -hmm. today and, and uh, enlightening us about the circle of care, but also just thanks for everything that you do for this mission. You've been here quite a while now, and, and I know uh, that what you do is uh, in the best interest of these kids and their families, and and uh, we'll keep evolving and, and trying to make it better. So thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, absolutely. And we'd like to thank our audience, our viewers, for joining us here in Hochoka at the center of St. Joseph's Indian Schools campus, where we talk about issues that are central to Native American education today. Until next time, stay centered.